Hey there guys, it's Luke here from the Cheesy Carrot and today I'm going to be reviewing a Asus AC55 dual band wireless adapter again from Asus and in this video I'll be talking about what the product actually is how you set it up, how it works, why you would need one and some tests, some Wi-Fi tests to see if this thing is actually worth it for a consumer or anyone trying to buy it so stay tuned and enjoy the video So guys, the whole entire point of buying something like this would be to be able to connect to 5 gigahertz networks which are much faster and have uh, much higher speeds because some laptops like mine cannot connect because they don't have a AC Wi-Fi card which is kind of a bummer but of course you can still buy these adapters which is why I bought this one and as you can see straight out of the box this is what you get so it's kind of like a very large thumb drive Take it out. As you can see, there's a nice kind of pattern in front of it. Uh, what you have to be careful though is that it's it's kind of wide. So if you have like a mouse plugged in uh, to a, a port right beside it, it might not fit. So you kind of have to be careful. Uh, I mean, it's kind of large, so it's not really practical. But I mean, it's better than having nothing. Of course, this is your manual instructions, and down here you have your warranty, and you'll also get a uh, disc or CD for the installation of the drivers which are very important because there's actually like a software program that you can use to connect to other networks which I'll be showing you in the next clip so I'll be back I'll turn on my computer and I'll plug this thing in okay so I have plugged in the USB drive and you, as you can see there's a uh, blue LED to t tell you that it's on and as you as soon as you plug it in after you install the drivers of course or focus you will get this kind of um, uh, application software program and basically from here you can select your things now I advise you to not really use this uh, program because it's quite glitchy but instead if you go down here you can actually see there's another Wi-Fi connection thing so this would be your normal Wi-Fi and this would be Wi-Fi 2 and from here you can connect to 5 gigahertz uh, networks so I'm gonna just show you a clip from my living room because that's where the router is I can't really I don't have an extender for the 5 gigahertz network and I'll show you kind of the difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and see if there's any performance gain hey guys so right now I'm in my living room and the router is right there beneath the TV so as you can see I'm just gonna do a benchmark test I'm using the 2.4 gigahertz so this is your classic uh, connection frequency and we will do a speed test using this website very reliable you can also get an application on Play Store App Store if you want to test out your phone on on your phone or your tablet and this is basically going to measure the download and upload speeds in megabits so not megabytes megabits are an eighth of a megabyte so uh, you have to kind of be careful so it measures your ping and download and upload speeds and as you can see uh, we are getting like 40 ish download speeds which is normal um, usually w uh, like on my phone I can get maybe a bit more because AC uh, Wi-Fi cards can uh, handle higher speeds but waiting for the upload upload yeah, mid 30s, 30 ish. And we'll just wait for it to finish. And then we shall plug in our Asus AC55 adapter. Plug it in right there. Okay, leave that up. And now let's change our Wi Fi settings down here. So this is Wi Fi 1 go to Wi-Fi 2 and just for my like, testing purposes let's see if there's actually a difference uh, while connecting with an AC Wi-Fi card on Wi-Fi 2.4 or Reunion 2.4 which is my 2.4 gigahertz network 
Oh, and uh, there might be a little bit of a performance drop. Or no, it's coming back up. Steadily climbing a bit. So before we were looking at, I'd say, high 30s. This time we got 45. And I mean, if a, a really small margin like that, you can just say it's a margin of error. So I think between um, this adapter and the chip in my laptop, it should be about the same. So if you don't even have a 5 gigahertz network, there's not really much point to do this. But here we go. Let's go 5 gigahertz now. Again, this is the same network. Uh, it's the same company. It's just that uh, we have two different networks. And we'll see how much of a performance boost we get. And as you can see, straight away, two over 200 megabits per second. That's insane speeds. As you can see, if you want to take full advantage of your um, or how much capacity you pay for, you need to use your 5 gigahertz channel because it's so much faster from 40 ish to like almost 300 it's insane upload speeds are even higher even penetrating 300 so this bad boy right here really useful if uh if you even have the the correct network that can can deliver these speeds but if if you have like maybe a 20 to 50 megabit network i don't think there would be much point but i guess that wraps up the video the evidence is right before you this actually works. I highly recommend it. Only problem is it's a bit large, cumbersome, but other than that, it's really useful and you can get really good speeds. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!